So in this uh, tutorial, I'm going to walk you through how to use FTP or File Transfer Protocol to transfer files that you may be working on on your PC over to your Raspberry Pi. We'll use a program that's called FileZilla. It's our preferred open source software solution and it connects very easily to the Raspberry Pi. We're already connected to the Raspberry Pi uh, over Ethernet or Wi-Fi, so you've made a connection between your PC and your Raspberry Pi. Uh, in this case, I pulled up dex.local and just going to show you what VNC looks like. We're using Raspbian for robots, and um, we'll take a look real quick just to demo. This is what my home directory looks like. I've got a few things in there. But I've got a file that I want to transfer over that's on my PC in my download section. It's called gopygo-robot.py. And to get this latest version over to my, um, to my Raspberry Pi, I will go ahead and pull up FileZilla. Got that open and running. This program FileZilla is really, uh, really helpful for transferring files. Um, and it's very easy to use. You can either use up here in the uh, top taskbar, there are, uh, there's a way you can just quick connect. And if I do that right here, I can just type in dex.local. Um, the, uh, the username would be pi, and the password would be your password or the standard password, which is robots1234. The only thing you should note is that you'll be connecting over port 22. Um, if you do that, you can make a quick connect You'll see it's the status is starting to try to connect to dex.local. It's did this really rapidly, but you can see this is uh, the directory on the right side. The remote side is what's on the Raspberry Pi, and then on the local side, that's what uh, is on your PC. So you've got these two side by side uh, directories here. <clears throat> In the Raspberry Pi, we can see that it goes automatically to uh, your home backslash home backslash Pi. You can see the directory right here. If I wanted to go to the desktop, I could do that two ways. I can type in the directory up here, and it should take me there. And then yep, it lists everything that's on the directory. Um, I can also just do it by going through this file section right here and uh, uh, navigating through uh, the graphical explanation of what uh, what's on my Raspberry Pi. So if I want to transfer a file, I'm going to go back to File Explorer where I have this program that I've written in Python and I just want to put it on my Raspberry Pi so I can run it. What I'll do is uh, just the easiest way is to pull up File Explorer and then grab my um, grab the file that I want to transfer over and I'm just going to drag it from this window over into the uh, home Pi uh, window. So I've got to drag it up and then select the directory that it goes into. We'll see that there's a status down here of what's happening. There we go, we've successfully transferred. So we saw that in queued file that showed up and then in if it fails it'll show up in fail transfers and if it's successful it'll show up in successful transfers. We'll go over to the Raspberry Pi now. So if I go over to dex.local and take a look here um, we can see that, let's see if we can find that file that we put up. Here we go, the gopygo robot-pi. So this has uh, been successfully transferred. So one thing you should be careful about um, is that uh, some of the file directories will be protected on the Raspberry Pi. So let's say I want to go into, um, I'll find a one that I know is protected. Um, if I wanted to transfer this directly to the directory home pi desktop go pi go and I wanted to move so let's say I've got a picture here on my local PC and I want to move it over via FTP um, I'll drag it into that uh, directory but the directory is protected so we'll actually see this fail so it's starting to um, queue up here and we saw a couple of things in this transfer dialog up here um, what's happening is um, you get this error message and it says write permission denied and that's because this is a protected folder so to transfer this I have to find an unprotected folder again in my case that's a uh, home pie I'll go back here I can probably just if I just drag it over into the pie folder yep that was successful and I can probably see it if I go over to 
the uh, file uh, directory on the Raspberry Pi. Yep, looks like that file was dragged over to my Raspberry Pi, and I can now access it. If I want to move it, um, I could do that through the into one of the protected files, like onto desktop. I can do that uh, using the command line. I'll show you really quick one other way that you can transfer files from the PC um, using FileZilla over to the Raspberry Pi. If I here I, we just I just showed you this, but I didn't explain it very well. This is the um, layout of the files on your PC. So let's see, I've got. Uh, it's a little more complicated and harder to find, but it might you might find it valuable. If I wanted to move that Pi, I'm going to go find where my downloads are and the um, the Pi directory we're working in. And if I click on that Pi directory, I can see that I've got a couple of different files right here. I can just use this to transfer over um, from the left side over to the right side to go from the PC to the Raspberry Pi. And since the file's already there, I get this warning that I'm going to overwrite, and I'll be okay with that. Same file, that worked out well. Let's say I just uh, want to transfer a file back from the Raspberry Pi to uh, uh, to my PC. Um, go find that uh, program, that uh, that file that we just transferred over. Was the go by get robot.py. Let's go ahead, we'll rename this. We can do that in FileZilla as well. This is all in the Raspberry Pi. So the program I placed, the go by go dash robot.py, I'm going to rename that to dash one.py. I can do that, and I successfully did that. Um, I'm going to move that back to the PC. Let's pull up our folder. This is our local uh, downloads folder. and. All I've got to do is go into FileZilla again, and uh, um, this is on the Raspberry Pi. Um, I'm in home backslash Pi, and I just drag that folder over to the um, uh, to the file explorer on my computer. Should be able to see it. I know that looks like that failed. So if you get a failure. Sometimes it, there just may have been a networking error. You can try it again. Try dragging this over um, again from the um, FTP program over into the home.computer. And looks like it couldn't be. Right. I'm getting these two errors. These were previous errors, but it looks like that was successfully transferred. So one went over from the uh, from the Raspberry Pi into the uh, local PC um, uh, uh, file system. So that's how you use FileZilla and very easy to go back and forth from the Raspberry Pi to your PC and from your PC to the Raspberry Pi.